Welcome back. Uh, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Just a bit tired of, uh, you know, staying up late trying to finish my Halo movie. Please. Finally finished the flashback scene that I've been wanting to do for a while, so... It uh, just makes me happy that I'm actually going to be able to get to do that. Okay, so I have two. Alright, so you know what? You know what? You know what I need to do? You know what exactly what I need to do? Let's get rid of this guy. Because, man, that guy. Supply pad complete. Rockets away. When will we see this Halo movie? That's uh, enemy take engaged. them. Uh, what? I want to own all the people on the left. <laughs> T tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I'm working on this enemy thing for engaged. like ten years. Uh, I don't think tomorrow. Well, since Based since I that. I still have you know like. Another hour to film. I'm pretty sure uh, it's not gonna be out tomorrow. Kind of want to make this a good movie instead of a half-done, not really good movie. You know, but that's just me. It seems like Rosie Diva. You need to know. Or <laughs> you need to know. A work of art is never finished. No, but at least want it to be viewable for people. Because uh, if I had uh, released what I wanted, uh, like originally, whatever, 10 years ago, uh, using Halo 2, it would have been a terrible movie. Uh, the characters were not characters, they weren't people. Uh, it would have been like, well, good effort, but uh, I'm not watching this again. This is basically what, uh, you know, Local unit. most people would have said uh, if it would have been released uh, back then. Uh, but because I have learned more, I have grown more, uh, my beliefs have changed, and uh, I just know how to Local actually unit. make a movie now. Whereas back then, I'm just like, well, you just film a bunch of action scenes, and that's a movie, right? Let some of the film just be good. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. I want this to be at least unit. viewable and watchable, and people go, well, that was actually a good movie instead of like, good effort, nice try, it was okay. You better, uh, if you know, uh, stick to something else, Nate. Uh, so don't don't make movies, or you better keep trying. You'll get there. You might make something good someday. I'm like, no. I'm like, if uh, if I want to make something, I want to make something good that's worth the watch and has some deeper meaning to it. It isn't just wow, explosions, action scenes. Okay, but where's the story? Where are the characters? Why do characters disappear all of a sudden and then reappear and then die? That makes no sense. <laughs> That's basically it. There was, you know, it was, it was terrible, horrible. Like, it, it was, it was some very bad, put, poorly put together, uh, you know, machinima. But someone would have made because they saw a movie and went, well, I can make movies now because I saw how movies look like. You know, instead of actually like, I want to make a movie that is, you know, has some meaning to it, has some depth. I never watch it again. That's all about taste. One person may hate one. No two people. Love That's true. But at least, okay. Here's the thing. There's different types of people. One person gonna watch a movie and go, "Wow, that looked really good. I like the visuals. That was a very good-looking movie. That, I love it." But they don't see, you know, the extra layer of like, "Oh wow, this character. He he changed as a person." He is now doing something he wouldn't have done before because of, you know, what is happening in the movie. They don't see that. But does that mean I should just completely get rid of that and go, well, not everyone's going to see this, so I uh, see all these little things I put in there, so I might as well just not do it? No. I'm going to put those extra layers in so that someone, if they go and see it a second time or a third time, go, wow, I actually didn't notice all this. Or there's going to be the people that when they watch it for the first time, they'll actually see those extra character moments and those extra moments of uh, of, of themes and, and different things, you know, about just morals and, and other little things that not everyone would notice. And they go, wow, I'm so glad this movie had this. Because most movies don't. It's just, you know, there's uh, the Transformers movies. is a very good example of things that look pretty 
but not a lot of story uh, put into them. And yet they make a lot of movie, money, a lot of people like to watch it because, wow, those are really cool action scenes and really good looking people in them, but is the script really good? No. Is the story really good? No. So I, I just, I would rather put my time and effort to make this like an actual movie as opposed to something that I just kind of thrown together and go, wow, this looks pretty here, everybody. You know, I want it to be like an actual movie. But a movie that has more depth to it, more layers, more, you know, something that is enjoyable for a variety of people instead of just like, oh, action scenes look pretty, and that's the movie. Action scenes, the movie. No, I didn't want to do that. I, d I mean, I did when I was 15 or 16 when I wanted to make this movie because that's all. I didn't understand why I liked movies. I just knew I liked them. And then once I started to uh, get really in into understanding what that is, and uh, you know, watching documentaries about movies and behind the scenes and why do people make movies and understanding all that stuff, then it's like, oh my goodness, there's so much more things that are in a movie that I just didn't realize, I didn't see, I didn't notice. Well, subconsciously I saw them. But I didn't just go, oh, I know exactly what this all means. I just, I didn't know. But now that I know that, now that I understand that, I'm trying to make something that isn't just, well, here it is. No effort put into it. It's like, well, then what's the point, you know? This, you know, uh, there's think you should be trying to make yourself happy. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Uh... I'm trying to make my- I want to be able to go in this like, wow, I I like this movie. I want to be able to like what I make. I don't want to make garbage. Scorpion, Looks like my supper's ready. But yeah, I just don't want to make garbage. I want to make something that when I go and watch this again, I take myself out of it like I didn't even make this movie, that this was made by somebody else, and can I still enjoy this movie? Do I- do I, uh, does- Am I able to connect to these characters? Am I ever actually able to get sucked into it? Uh, you know, into this this world of these characters and the story and and you know, do I enjoy it? And uh, if if I make something that is just like this, I wouldn't even watch what I just made. Then you know, that's that's kind of a bad sign. So, you know. But and, and here's the thing though too, uh Sure, it, you know, it, and it's and that's a nice thing to go like, well, don't worry about what everyone else thinks, just worry about what you think. But if other people are watching this, don't you have to kind of care about your audience? And like, who is going to watch this? You know, sort of what you want them to think about, or what you, you know, sort of want them to enjoy from this, or to take away from something that you're making. And, uh... Because, again, I'd rather make something that people can actually enjoy watching instead of like, well, that's definitely a movie made for you, you know? It's like, well, then I wouldn't show it to anybody. Then i just make, you know, whatever. Like, uh, i just make this whole movie, do all this work, and just be like, well, I'm not going to show it to anybody. Uh, it's just for me to watch for myself. It's like, that's kind of selfish, you know? Like, it's... If you're going to put all this time and effort into something and you know you kind of are wanting and just wondering you know what people think about it but not only that maybe something that other people can go watch and go wow that actually made me think about something or at least be somewhat entertained you kind of have to think about what the audience thinks uh you know or what you know maybe they would uh, what what you like for them to come through you know like i don't know I just think that if you're going to make something, uh, it can't be just for yourself, you know. Uh, you can't, you, you, because there's a difference between worry about what people think about what you're doing and then wanting them to actually enjoy what you watch. Because sure, like, there are people that, uh, you know, will watch, again, I, I bring up Transformers, but a movie like that where it's mostly about visuals and and spectacle and just not really about the story of the characters and everything uh and they love those movies they think those are the best movies ever you know and then they go watch my movie and go 
well, what's all this story thing? I just want explosions. Well, then obviously, I, you know, I'm like, I can't, I'm sorry, you know, that I can't do anything about that. Oh my goodness, same base, same base. What is going on? I, I'm being distracted. I'm talking about uh, uh, life again. This, hap this happening recently. But no, like, I, I would, like, I understand that there's people with different tastes and things, but if I just make something for myself, it's like, well, then why am I really making it, you know? And if I am wanting to make this for, it's like, oh, hey, I made something here, go see it. Well, if I know that people are going to see it, well, why would I make something that only I understand and nobody else does? You know, that's, you know. And I think with a lot of movies and entertainment and uh, different things like that, it's... Local units. Is that a lot of people just go, oh, well, this is what I like, and that's it. It's like, well, you kind of have to think about who is going to be watching this movie. You know. And that's where you get the independent movies, right? That are really a specific audience uh, who understand specific things. But with this type of movie that I wanted to make, it's, it's definitely a movie that, you know, a lot of people would probably watch. Almost... Again, like, because I am trying to make a Halo movie, I'm trying to make it as if this is an actual movie that'd be put in a theater that people would watch, you know, so... I don't know, I guess it's, 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 it's sci-fi, you know, like, Independence Day. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing, right? You get movies like Independence Day where it's like... You know, he's really trying to do some stuff that you can kind of see, but maybe certain things that some people might not like, but I mean, I'd probably still watch that movie again. You know, uh, is it the best movie ever made? No, uh, but it's it, but it's definitely trying to do that mix of okay, let's have a lot of these visuals, but like actually try to tell a story, have some sort of character development, have some things happen. So you know, but it's uh, it's a tricky thing because yeah, I mean a lot of movies. Oh my goodness, this, this freaking thing. This is getting ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. Anyways, um... But yeah, like... Oh, I just, I just lost thought I was paying attention to the game. <laughs> Thinking about movies. But yeah, like there's... Yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It's, it's like with a anything creative, you know, there's always going to be people that are not going to like it, but it's, I guess it's like what you put into it and not just that, but what you sort of put into what the, the, the audience is going to either enjoy, because sometimes what they expect is not right, you know, it's not really, it's not really what they, they need to see. Uh, you know, uh, and, and, and sometimes there's some stories that are like really creative that you're like, I don't even understand this, you know, until you watch it again and go, okay, I get it. Uh, so, the, you know, there's many different types of movies, but I think, I think that when you're trying to make something, you can't just have, it, you know, uh, have tunnel vision and have just like a locked room and be like, okay, this is my box, this is my room, uh, whatever I make is the best thing ever. Uh, or whatever I make is... If I like it, that's all that matters. You know, like, I think that's kind of silly. I think that's that's very... That's closed-minded. And I think it should be open to what other people are thinking. Uh, and I mean, with the movie, you're supposed... With any movie, you're supposed to be making characters. You're supposed to be making living beings, these people. But even though it they're made up and you're writing them and putting them into this, you know, not actual real world to make them real enough and believable enough that someone can get sucked into this world and actually care about what's going on, you know. Local and to some degree, so it's, uh, you know. I just think that if you just, if you don't uh, really care about what everyone else thinks and just make whatever you think is good, and think that whatever you're making is the best thing ever because while well, I think so, that's, you know, that 
it might not be the best thing in the world to make, you know? It's, uh... It's just, it, it, it is very... Because everyone, again, everyone has their own different opinions about movies and whatnot. But again, but I, I truly think that you have to, when you're making something, you, it can't just be about yourself. Especially if you, if it's something where, you know... Yeah, don't think about others. <laughs> yes, people are jerks sometimes, yes. This is true, but it doesn't mean they can't learn from their mistakes and actually be better people. You know? Uh, and the reason why they're jerks is there's, you know, is because there's something that has happened to them, they experience something, or they're just, they just, from what their experience is like, oh, well, this is the right thing to do, is not care about anybody else but myself. 40-year-old Halo movie. I know, right? Well, I'm using Halo 3, so think about that. That was 2007. So, like, we're getting there. But, because now I know how to make movies. Like, technically, at least. Uh, it's a little bit better, because I can go, Oh, well, I mean, and here's the thing, through all those years, you know, uh, through all these years, I've th thought of different stories with these characters, and I've act, you know, technically I've, whatever, lived with these characters. I've understanding these characters a lot more, developing them. So I'm like, oh, I could totally do a story you know, like a prequel movie about telling about who they are, blah, 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 and how they got to this point in this movie, and then a sequel one, you know, just expanding their characters and the story and doing cool things. So, I kind of, I kind of, like, <laughs> what years? What years? So I kind of, in, in, in some way, just, it's, it's actually better for it. It's better that it took this long because I'm like, oh, I know how to do things now, so it's uh, yeah, it's just it's just one of those things. So you know, <laughs> it's as I have grown, the movie has grown. Uh, Twenty forty to make mistakes, man. You need something to build on. Yes, and I want I want something that I build on as a solid foundation, uh, and not sand. I want to build on a rock. You know, that's basically the idea, is if I'm building on something, it needs to be at least stable enough that when I do build upon it, that the whole house isn't going to fall apart. That is... <laughs> that is why it's... That's why I'm really wanting this to be good enough, viewable enough, watchable enough by people to go, Oh! Well, that was actually surprisingly good, you know, as opposed to, well, the next movie better be good. But I'll, I'll, I'll just continue about, I'll finish off with Star Wars. Is that, yeah, like the first, the first edit of the movie was terrible. Like the, how everything was shot, filmed, everything. There was a lot of good stuff and there's a lot of bad stuff. They're like, we need to fix this. So even though there might be like little mistakes in the original Star Wars movie, or as some people know it now as A New Hope, um, it was worse. It was a movie that no one would have wanted to watch. So if they didn't go back and go, okay, let's take this out, take this scene out. That's why there's a lot of deleted scenes. Take this scene out, take this scene out, take this scene out. Oh, shorten this scene. Oh, you know, things like that. And plus they didn't know if this movie was gonna go on anymore. So they didn't think about like what to plan ahead, but they're like, okay, let's make this world, make these characters, and try to make a good movie, you know. So that's why they had to edit things and change things and, and different things like that. Of course, the music helped a lot. So, uh, but you're filming this submission, oh my goodness. But yeah, so even the Star Wars movie. Even though, yeah, again, it has some mistakes, but it could have been worse. And what I'm trying to do is with my movie is to not have it be worse, to be bad right from the start. I need to make this to be good. With, yes, there's going to be probably some mistakes. I am human. These things will happen. But it's to make the movie good enough that you, when you watch the movie, 
hopefully you really won't see those little mistakes because you get sucked into the world so much or these characters and it just just watch the movie and go wow that was actually a decent okay movie you know and uh it, and if it turns out that I actually did make something a lot better, that's great. But at least to put the time and effort to uh, to make it a better movie than you know than just putting it together and going, all right, here we go. Uh, here's some here's some characters and uh, and they go blow things up. Okay, and they fight aliens. All right, that's the story. You know, uh, I'm just putting more effort into making it into a movie.